What's up guys, it's Yuval here and in today's video I'm talking about all of our favorite filmmaking gear. We're talking cameras, lenses, lights. It's gonna be a lot of fun and we also have a little giveaway at the end of this video so make sure you stick around. But now let's jump in. So the first camera I want to talk about is the Blackmagic Pocket 6K. Of course, everyone uses that camera nowadays and for a very good reason. It has amazing um, image quality and it's easy to use. It's probably the best value for money out there. It offers a bunch of codecs, resolutions, um, frame rates. The ProRes files are really easy to work with and are very light in the editing software, which is a very big plus because um, it really helps speed up your workflow and it just makes life easier. So it's the camera that's actually um, shooting me right now in this video. And for these kind of things, I usually like to shoot on the um, Polaris 422 codec, which in my opinion is great for keeping image quality and still giving you like a relatively small file size and an easy to work with file and if we're shooting a commercial or something that uh, may require some more work in post and color grading then we shoot raw which is amazing but even just the smaller pores looks amazing so the blackmagic pocket 6k um, this is our main camera for um, these kind of videos the youtube videos um, even some of our commercials and some other content that we create. That's our go-to camera for that. So the next camera we own is the Blackmagic Versa Mini. It's 4K, it's a little bit of an older version. And that camera is more of a studio um, production camera for us. It's definitely bigger than the Pocket 6K. The quality, in my opinion, is a bit less than the Pocket 6K, but it just has that like big form factor. It's a real cinema camera. It has XLR inputs and um, other cinema-like features. So that camera is definitely more convenient in like bigger sets, bigger productions, um, has all of the cinema features that we need. So that's another camera that we own. Then the camera that we use probably the most and we still don't own yet um, is the Alexa, usually the Mini LF. A lot of our bigger productions and the commercials are shot on the Alexa. I don't think there's really much to say. It's like probably the best camera out there. It's the most common camera, definitely on film sets, commercials. Um, it's everywhere in the industry and obviously it's one of the best cameras out there. In terms of glass for simpler things um, like these videos, or behind the scenes or even some of our commercials we use the Sigma Art 24 to 70 and the 18 to 35 which is currently on the pocket shooting this video and these lenses are great they're clean they have a good quality they got good sharpness and they're very easy to use and affordable and honestly they're perfect for like 80 percent of what we do but of course they do have their limitations um, they don't have a lot of character so if that's something you're going for you won't get it from these lenses and then also it's not a cine lens so the focus is a bit um, harder to use, but that's how it is with Steel's lenses. But all in all, a great piece of glass, um, very affordable, very useful, um, high quality. They're very popular for a good reason. And then of course, on a lot of our other projects, we use um, all types of different glass, um, like the Atlas Orion anamorphic lenses, um, size super speeds, standard speeds, really a bunch of other lenses. Really depends on the project, but the Sigma ones are the ones we actually own. So moving on to lighting, we have the Ari Sky Panel, an essential in any production. It has a lot of power, great output, great quality of light. It has um, RGB control, uh, special effects, really anything you need for any situation. Um, love the Sky Panel. It's another piece of gear that you'll find on almost any set um, in the industry. Then we have its little brother, the Nanlite Mix Panel, a great budget option, which has um, very similar um, capabilities as with the sky panel. It's just less powerful um, but it's obviously way more affordable and it's really a great light that we use a lot. It's very easy to use, easy to set up, it's pretty light, has good quality of light, RGB controls, effects, really anything you need in a light. Then we got RGB tubes, we got a lot of them. These are from Nanlite, they are the Pava tubes. We have those big ones, um, probably like 10 of them. We also have a bunch of medium ones and these small ones. Um, these are honestly amazing. I always recommend them because they're just um, so versatile, so easy to use, um, and they're also very affordable. Honestly, there's nowhere to go wrong. You can use these as backlight. You can use them as a practical on set. You can use them for your YouTube setup. Um, I have one over there giving us this blue light, and I also have one for the hair light. 
Um, so honestly, I find myself always using these, whether it's the big ones, um, small ones, um, they're great. I use them all the time in almost any production, also my personal projects. They have full RGB controls, they have special effects, um, you can dim them down, you can control the saturation. So yeah, non-light power tubes. If you can, get yourself a few of these, you'll use them all the time, I promise. And some other RGB options are these lights. Palm Aperture, they're the Aperture MCs. Um, these lights are really awesome. They're small, they're versatile. They are magnetic, which is great. You can just stick them on easily on set. Very versatile, super light and small. They're really fun and they come in handy. So yeah, these are really nice to have. Forza 500, an amazing, good quality, very strong light. We mainly use it as a key light in a lot of situations. It's um, obviously very versatile because you can just shine it directly or you could use it with a softbox or shoot it through a diffusion like 4x or something like that. So this is a really good piece of gear to own. Um, just as a base, as I said, we use it mostly as a key light uh, most of the time. So if you put that with uh, like a softbox, then you already have a strong and beautiful um, light and then you just maybe need a few other um, smaller light but this is great to have as kind of like a main light then we also have the aperture 300x this is a bicolor light which means you can change the temperature and we can go cooler or warmer which is a very nice feature to have a great light to own we also have the spotlight mount which lets you control and shape light in a very cool way and we actually made a video about it so you can check it out if you want so these are the lights we own and then of course we rent a lot of things out um, for the bigger productions like HMIs, um, or sky panels, and a bunch of other more expensive lights. But if you're doing smaller productions, even medium-sized productions, and um, even on bigger productions, all of these lights that we have uh, from these great brands like Nanlite and Aperture, they're super innovative and they're really easy to use, very user-friendly, and they also do have a great quality. So these are all very good lights that we um, use all the time and I'm really glad we have them. Another piece of gear worth mentioning is this Weevil 2 from Jiwen. Um, we've been using that for the last couple of weeks. We're loving it so far, it's a great gimbal. It's great for a one-man band kind of projects um, creating like overall general content, um, it's a great piece of gear. Usually for our commercials um, and the bigger projects, we tend to use something like a dolly or a Steadicam, but if you're shooting by yourself or you're shooting something um, more smaller and you wanna have fun and make your life easier, um, then this is a great choice, the Weeble 2 from Jiren. And then we also have the Insta360 Go 2 and the X2, which we've been also playing with lately. They're very fun and they give us some new options that we didn't really have before. So we're using them to create some BTS content um, and some other social kind of things. But honestly, I think you can even pull them off um, for a shot in a commercial. They're very unique in the kind of image that they can give you, especially in that form size. It really opens up a lot of possibilities for us. So this is the filmmaking gear that we love and use all of the time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And also check out our exclusive filmmaking Facebook community and our Instagram page. Links in the description below. And for today's giveaway, one of you guys could win a free one-year Artlist music subscription. All you have to do is let us know down in the comments below what video would you like for us to make next. And here is the winner from our last giveaway. But that's everything for this one and until the next time. Stay creative.